guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. And my name is Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And we are here with another unboxing from Universal Yums. And this month, our box is from... Turkey. Woo, Woo turkey. So we have been getting this subscription box for, it's been, I guess, several years now. And every month they send you snacks and treats from a specific country. Um, so you ready to jump in? Yes, we got a bunch of snacks here. And while Howard is opening up the front, the first snack, I'll just tell you that in every single box, you get a basically kind of like a guide of that country. There are recipes in here. There are also fun facts about that country as well. And there's a description of all the different foods that are in the box. So what's the first one that we're gonna try? I got to show you before I opened, but it's this thing here. And it is, um, they're called what, crispy? It's called crispy and it says seasoned with turkey's famous spice blend. And it's a baharat, I might be saying that wrong. It says onion powder, parsley, garlic, thyme, and paprika. Let's see how this, you got a small piece there. So it doesn't look like, I thought it was a chip, but it's like a cracker. I do smell some spices though. I do, <laughs> I smell some spices too. Um, you ready? Let's try it. Cheers. Yeah. A little different. Uh, I do taste some spices. I can't tell what they are. Yeah, there's a. I can't say I. There's a spice in there I don't like. Yeah, I can't say I like it either. I, I don't care for it. The texture of it is kind of like, um, like one of those, like a Ritz crispy cracker, like the new crackers that they have out, yes. like a Ritz chip or something like that. That's but that it. tastes better than this. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. Mmm, I don't like that one that much. Okay, All so right. what's next? Next up is uh, halva. Yeah, it says vanilla tahini halva. It says turkey's crumbly sesame sugar tradition. I don't think I like halva. I don't, I don't think I like it either. Um, mm, oh. It doesn't look good, guys. I don't. This is what it looks like. It looks like a, it's very chalky looking. It doesn't oh. look good. Is it spongy? No, it's, oh, it's a hard sponge, if anything. You gonna try a piece? A very small piece. So the first ingredient is sesame seed. Um, it does not look appetizing, I'll be honest with you. All right, this is my piece, and you can have that little baby piece there. <laughs> How's it smell? Yeah, like halva. Okay, cheers. Yeah, I don't like halva. Mm -mm. It's not good. I've had halva before. I've never had halva. I don't think I like halva. Still don't like halva. I don't like it either. It ha it tastes like um. I guess this is sesame in there. But I like sesame normally. But I don't know. It's a peculiar flavor. It's not my thing. I I, I wish I could describe it better, but I can't. It, the texture of it is really crumbly, um, and the taste is very. Different. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's move on. <laughs> All right. Okay, what's next? Okay, it says, um, it is Lush, and it says it's a cocoa cream mosaic cookie. It says it has tahini, oh. hazelnut, and cocoa. A creamy nuttiness is what it says. Tahini again. Mm-hmm. It says hazelnut, 75% of the country I'm sorry. Oh, it looks like a nice little... Turkey is the number one producer of hazelnuts. They produce 75% oh, yeah. of the global supply. So, it's interesting. Oh, the texture. So, I cut it in two, and it has the cocoa in the middle. Mm-hmm. You want a whole piece? Whole... I'll just take a bite. I'll take a bite. All right. It's pretty on the... Did you see this? I did show that. Oh, you did? Okay. Cheers. Cheers. I cheated because I, I just got the cookie part and not the chocolate part. <laughs> um, 
It doesn't taste anywhere special. I mean, I guess I taste the hint of tahini. Maybe. Okay, let me I don't this. think I like tahini. Okay, so I did get a little bit of the middle part. And? It, to me, it tastes like Nutella, and I don't like Nutella. Mm. Yeah, that's a, that's a no go right, for so me. So far, we're not doing too good. No. Okay, what's next? Oh, this doesn't look like it's gonna go any better. Okay, so it is called Otto Nuts, and these are salted roasted chickpeas. I don't like chickpeas. I don't like chickpeas. Neither one of us likes chickpeas. We're not into the whole hummus thing. Nope. So it says... Um, oh, one down. <laughs> oh, Just a little, little chickpea. Yeah, a little dried up chickpea, which I don't like chickpeas at all. Neither do I. Oh gosh. Okay, let's this try. This is a tough box. Yes. Cheers. Hmm. Not what I expected, but I expect it to be hard and crunchy or something. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a corn nut. Is what you were thinking? It's like powdery. It is very it powdery. Doesn't taste good to me. Mm -mm. No, no chickpeas. Oh. Okay. What's next? Oh. All right, this one looks better, like I would like it. Okay, it is a coconut and coffee snowball cake. All right. So I, I'm not a big snowball person, but we'll see. I don't know about snowball, but coconut coffee is probably good. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I got the taste of that chickpea. Yes, it's bad. It's not good. Oh. Look on that snowball. It kind of cracked, though, on this side. Let me just... Crack it open. Okay. Oh. Ta -da. That's what it looks like. So I think the only place that I know of that make, or company that makes ho ho, I mean the um, snowballs is Hostess, I think. And I think of the pink snowballs, and I don't like those. Um, and you know, I don't drink coffee either, and this is a coffee snowball, so let's see Oops. how it is. I'll uh, take a small, let's take this piece. Okay. You got the. Uh, Cheers. Piece. Cheers. Coffee. Mm-hmm. Very strong coffee. I like it. Do you? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Not for me. I, I do taste a very strong coffee taste, and I also taste that coconut. The cake is kind of spongy. It tastes good to me. I get the coffee flavor. I like the coffee taste. Mm-hmm. That was good. Okay. At least you got one you like. Yes. Okay, what's next? So, this is Bibeto? Mm, I think so. Watermelon jelly gum. Sour watermelon gummies, which I actually am the gummy eater in yes. our household. And the sour person too. And the sour person. So, I think I will probably like these. And I probably won't like it either. <laughs> oh, it looks oh, like those a little, are cute. little, little watermelon. Of watermelon. That's super cute. Right. I guess I'll take a little bite because it's yeah. too far to chew. Okay, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Not very sour. No, unless I didn't get the sour part. Just pretty sweet. It's good. You like it? Yeah. And see, I don't I like it. A little sour. Got a little sour. Because I like a hard, firm gummy bear, and these are very soft. Oh, I don't yeah. like squishy, soft ones. Well, that's the second best thing so far in this box. That's true. <laughs> okay, what's next? Okay, I'm not sure I'm gonna like this one either. Okay, so these are corn nuts, which I do love corn nuts. They I are- don't really like corn nuts. Toasted paprika corn nuts. Ooh. I love corn nuts. Corn nuts. Hmm. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. No. Yes. Mmm, this is probably the best thing out of the whole box. Mmm. Mmm. I love corn nuts, and these have a, a nice smoky flavor. Is that the paprika, maybe? Yes. These are delicious. Mm. Well, I'm happy you found something <laughs> you like. Me too. What's next? Date filled cookies. Yeah. Um, where is that? Oh, okay. It says, like a Fig Newton, but with real dates. Okay, cool. I like Fig Newtons. You like Fig Newtons. Harrison and I do not like Fig Newtons. <laughs> uh, you guys don't know what you're missing. Harrison is our one-year-old, and he does not like Fig Newtons. So these are going to be all you. 
I don't think I'm gonna try one of these. They do look like fig newtons. They do look just like fig newtons. Let me help you. Okay. And they come in a um, oh. a box in a little tray, which is pretty nice. A very nice. Yeah, tray. very nice looking. Trade on try? I'm positive. All right, I'll take a bite. Cheers to me. Cheers to you. What's the inside look like? Oh, I bit. Does it look like a regular Fig Newton inside? I think a Fig Newton, well, figs have a different texture. They have those- um, Seeds in little it? Little seeds more, so this doesn't have that. But I don't get much off the middle piece. A lot of cake or cookie part around it. Mm. Not much in the middle. But- mm, Maybe here are some eat those. You can try them, but- You I doubt can try. It. <laughs> okay, what's next? Oh, let's see. The, the Beto ice cream, the Beto Beto, um, it says the flavors are blueberry, strawberry, and vanilla creaminess. Whoa. So, again, this sounds like something I would like. Oh, their colors, blueberry, strawberry, vanilla. I would vanilla. like blueberry, please. I don't think that blue one maybe is probably blueberry. Yes, love blueberry. All right, I got vanilla, These I think. Are the cutest little things. Mm. Ooh, and it smells like blueberry. Mine doesn't smell like mm. vanilla. Cheers. One. <laughs> Cheers. Should have taken a bite. Mmm. Mm. Mine tastes like blueberry. Nothing special. I like these. Okay. So the corn nuts and these, thumbs up for me. Okay. Okay. What's next? Okay. All right. Honey mustard and onion. That sounds like meat. That, that, those are your flavors. So they are rice cakes. Okay, that's not mine. Whole grains though. and finger licking honey mustard. So the honey mustard may be okay, but I don't know about the rice cake. Part it of says it. the rice cakes are coated in a sweet and spicy honey, honey mustard seasoning. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna get a piece. Cheers. Cheers. Mm mm. No. Very mustardy. I don't taste any mustard. Well, when I think of honey mustard, I think sweet. This is not sweet. This is mustard. And see, I don't like honey mustard. If honey, like mustard, honey mustard tasted like this, I would eat it. Mm, no, if I if honey mustard tasted like this, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> it's okay. more mustard. I like it. It tastes pretty good, and I didn't think I would. What's next? Uh, whatever this is. Um. Okay. So they are orange and cocoa cookies. They are topped with citrus and cocoa sprinkles. Um, so basically each bite of these cocoa sprinkled orange filled tartlets is like tasting Mediterranean sunshine. <laughs> That's what they say. Oh, uh, it's a tart thing. I didn't. <laughs> I just read tart. I know, but <laughs> I just don't like it. Do you want to split one or are you? Well, I'm gonna have my own. Okay, you want, you want, you I'll, want. I'll take my own. If you want, I can split no, this one for you. No, that's okay. I'll just get my own little tartlet. You're gonna like it. I don't think I will. Cheers. Cheers. There's the orange. Mm. Not bad. I'm not into filled Like things. marmalade or something? I like the cookie part. It's the orange. Filling, I don't know. Oh, I, I don't mind that. Okay, what's next? We're done. That's it? Well, we have a yum bag. So every single month with your box, you get a yum bag. And in the yum bag are typically like hard candies or like what else? Typically hard candies and things like that from that country. And we normally don't taste those on camera because you know it takes a while to eat hard candy. We don't want to chomp through it. But um, this time only two different types. Okay. This uh, bluish purple one here. And that is called Mastic Toffee. And then this green one here. And that is called Melon and Lime Chews. Oh. So. Mastic Toffee? Ma uh -huh. I don't know what it says. Uh, oh, it's a gummy sap and piney glory. So it's like pine. I probably won't like it. <laughs> it's pine flavored candy. No. No, I'd say no to that too. 
But that's it. Yeah, I'm not trying the pine. Can I <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.